Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. We've got three PC cases set up on the workbenches. We're going to make some builds to sell on PC Bay today. We don't have any plans as to what's going to go in any of these cases. But we've got motherboards and RAM and CPUs and graphics cards and power supplies and everything we need to make some nice builds. So let's get started over here on this one. See if we can figure out what we want to go in here. Let's get this case taken apart. And let's see what we've got that we can throw in here. Let's start with the motherboard. Let's see, we've got some Sky Lake, some Coffee Lake, KB Lake. Let's see what we have in processors. We've got Sky Lake, Coffee Lake, Ryzen. Let's get rid of some of these Skylake things. Let's grab a Mortoni motherboard. Oh, we've got a used one. Let's use that. Let's get this motherboard installed. We can get this thing ready for CPU and RAM. We'll probably just end up putting one stick of RAM in this. But let's see what we've got. Let's do fits this PC. I don't know if I want to put a K unit in there. 6400 wouldn't be bad or the 65 or the 66 let's make it as nice as we can let's put the 6600 in there let's see what we've got for ram we have anything that's 2666 we do not what about 3000 that'll work well, let's put that in there let's see what we have for storage Got some standard SSDs. Well, let's use one of those, maybe this A data one here. Let's see, we've got some spots on the back of the motherboard. Get this thing ready for a GPU. Also get some thermal paste on here. Let's see what we have for just a simple air cooler. Let's see. We will do this a cryo rig. How big is that? Oh, that's a good size. That will work. Let's find a graphics card to go with this. At least a 1060. There's some 1060s there. There's a 1080 Ti. Might be a little much. Let's see. Man, I got a lot of 1080 Ti's. A 1070 Ti I might not be too bad with that i5. Let's put that in there. And let's find a power supply. That 250 is not going to be enough. This 650 ought to work. Let's see what else we have. 850, 750... Let's use this. Oh, that's brand new, too. Let's use this 650 watt. Let's cable this thing up. We'll just do standard gray, black, whatever this is. Cables. This has no window on the side, so that doesn't really matter. Get everything cabled up. Let's grab a USB drive. Let's power this thing on. I'll hop into the BIOS. Make sure everything looks good. Turn our XMP on. And who knows what's on this SSD? Oh, maybe nothing. Okay. Everything seems to be working. Let's get. Let's see, what do we want? We want 3D Mark. And let's put the GPU tuner on there. We can try to overclock this just a little bit. What's this thing saying it's worth 579. So after we do a little overclock and run a 3D Mark, hopefully that will go up from there. 
Let's try... 1070s. So usually can go to 2100. Sometimes even higher. Let's try that. I'm going to get a 3D mark running. If we blue screen, or if we make it all the way to a score, I will come right back and show you guys. All right, so there you have it. 6,287. Let's see what our price did over here. We went from 579, somewhere around there, to about 1,100 bucks. So that's not bad. That's not bad for a start. Let's get this case put back together. We can get this thing listed on PC Bay. Let's grab a post-it note. And we are ready to go. Let's put that in the closet. And we can get started on this case. This one that has no fans in it. So we'll have to see what's up with that. Should have plenty of fans in my inventory, though. Depending on what we put in this. Let's get this case completely taken apart. Because I don't know what we're going to put in here yet. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we've got for motherboards. Let's see. Got an Asus Prime Z370. Let's do something with this 370. So let's get this motherboard installed. Now let's get this thing ready for CPU and RAM. It may only get one stick. We'll have to see. But if we need to buy some, we definitely will. Let's see what we've got though for CPUs that will fit this. We've got a 9700K or an 8086. Let's do the 8086 in here. And let's see what we have for RAM. Got an 8 gig stick there. 4,000. We may just have to buy a matching stick of something. Let's see. Let's get another stick of this G-Skill Trident Z Silver 8 gig, 4,000 megahertz. We got some money in the bank, so ordering things and having them delivered same day won't be a big deal. Let's go to memory. We want Trident Z 8 gig, 4,000 megahertz. Let's go ahead and order that same day delivery. Hopefully we won't have to do that too often. It will add up. But let's go ahead and get this second stick installed. System this nice needs 16 gigs of RAM at least. Let's get some thermal paste put on here. And let's see what we have in terms of something to cool this CPU with. Got an EVGA CLC 280. Let's put something liquid on here. Let's see. This a Cryo Rig A80 looks pretty nice. Let's see where that fits. Does that fit up in the top? Excellent. Let's get that installed. We're going to need to add some fans. Let's take a look at what we've got case fan wise. See if we have stuff that matches. Got some 120s. We will grab those and put those in the front. We've got we've got these. That's a 140. That's a 120. These may be what came out of here. I'm not sure. Let's see. What were we putting in? These LL120s. And then let's see what we've got for the back. I wonder if this LL140... No. What about... Maybe nothing's going to fit back there. We may not have a rear exhaust fan. <laughs> Will anything fit back there? Like a heat away? Nope. 
Metal 120, nope. I just, I don't think anything's going to fit back there. That's fine. Not a problem. Let's see what we've got GPU-wise. And we might even be able to get dual GPUs in this thing if we have two that match. Let's take a look at storage as well. Let's grab one of these M.2 drives. The Gigabyte one ought to work. We'll get that installed. Actually looks nice with the colors. All right, graphics cards. Let's see what we've got. We've got anything we can make SLI with. Anything that matches. I don't think we do. Well, let's put at least something nice in here, like a 2070. Do we have a 2080? We got 1080. We've got a bunch of 1080 Ti's. We've got this Zotac 2080 Ti. And a Gigabyte 2080 Super. Let's do the 2080 Ti. We'll get that installed. Let's get a power supply in this thing. Let's see, what do we got in the... We've got this one that's 800 watt. That'll probably work. Let's get that Silverstone 800 watt power supply in there. And I think we're ready to cable everything up. Don't know what color anything's going to light up, but let's see what we've got. Color-wise, it might look cool in this case. Let's see... Maybe this one that's got the red, blue, and black. Kind of matches some of the colors on this fan. Not that you'll be able to see it when it's spinning. Get everything cabled up here. Missing cables. So let's get the dust filter and front panel on here. It might be the top panel. Nope, it was the front. We'll get that cabled up. We can go ahead and grab a USB drive and we can power this thing on. See if it works. We'll go into the BIOS real quick. Let's overclock the RAM. Let's take this to 5.1. Hopefully that will hold steady. Might be a little bit high on the voltage, but whatever. May or may not. Nope, this is already... This is a used one. I don't know how to remove all this stuff. Because it's not under remove program, so... I guess it's just going to stay on there, but let's get 3D Mark on. As well as... Uh, let's do OCCT just to check our little overclock we did. And GPU tuner. We can let this thing restart. It's claiming it's worth a little over a grand... Let's see if we can up that some. Oh, we should have put lighting app on there. Because these lights are terrible. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's get the lighting app on. We'll at least make all the lights match some color. I don't know what. We'll make it something. Red, white, blue. One of these colors. We have... So let's see. We've got all kinds of crazy colors. We will do some blue. Yeah, that's not so bad. All right, let's run OCCT real quick. Make sure our 5.1 gigahertz overclock holds a steady. Eighty-five, eighty-six. Probably could have pushed it even further. It's running fairly cool. Alright, I think we're safe. Well, let's overclock this GPU a little bit, hopefully. Try about 2,000 megahertz. I'm going to get 3D Mark running... Again, if it blue screens, 
Or if we make it all the way to the end and get a result, I will come right back. All right, there you've got it. 13,259. Not bad at all. Went up to about three, a little over three grand. So hopefully that's about what we get when this sells on PC Bay. But let's go ahead, get this thing put back together so we can get it listed and put in the cabinet. And we'll get this side panel on. Let's take a look at this one. So we can see inside. I think it turned out pretty nice. Let's grab a post-it note. Get this thing listed on PC Bay. We can toss it in the closet. Let's get started on this last one. Let's get this case all taken apart. We'll take the top off, see if we can put some sort of a liquid cooler in there. But let's see what we've got as far as motherboards. I know we've got some Ryzen chips, so maybe we'll see if we've got a Ryzen motherboard. We've got this one, the X470 Asus ROG Crosshair. Let's grab that one. Let's get that thing installed. Get this thing ready for a CPU and RAM. We may have to go buy another stick of RAM. That's all right. Let's see what we've got. Let's do Fits this PC, CPU. Let's do the Ryzen 7 3800X. Be a nice CPU in there. Let's see what we've got as far as RAM goes. Got this 8 gig, 3600 megahertz stick of RAM. Let's see, we've got the HyperX Predator 4000. Let's do this 8 gig, 3600 megahertz. Let's go order another one of those so we can have two of them. Thirty six hundred megahertz. You know what? Let's order three. Let's do same day delivery. There we go. Get this thing ready for four sticks of RAM. Oops, that was already open. Let's go here. Let's grab all of this RAM. Get this installed. There we go. Let's put some thermal paste on here. Let's see what we've got as far as a cooler for this thing. Let's see, where will this fit? Oh, it will fit up in the top. Let's do this 280 from EVGA. There we go. That'll keep that nice and cool. Let's see, I'm hoping we've got two matching graphics cards for this. So let's take a look. Actually, let's take a look at storage first. Let's see. Looks like only this A data M.2 drive will fit. Will it only fit there? Oh, no, it'll go there. Let's get that installed. Let's see what we've got now for graphics cards. Thought I saw a couple of matching 1080 Ti's. I think this Asus. Yes, I think we've got two of these. No, not, no, not in the front. There we go. There we go, two of those. Let's get this mounting ring off of here. And let's find a power supply for this thing. Let's give it a nice big power supply. Probably doesn't need it. But maybe this thousand watt would be nice. Let's get that PSU cradle remounted on there. And I think we need anything else? Do we have a big... Oh, we've got a big hard drive we can throw in here. Let's do that, too. Well, let's get this thing cabled up. Let's use something with some red in it. We may have to go with just plain old red. Let's see. We've got red, yellow, black. 
Mm. So just ribbon braided red, I guess it is. We'll get this thing all cabled up. Maybe. There we go. Just about done. There we go. We can put a little bit of this case back together. Get the top panel back on it at least. Okay. Don't know if we'll need the USB drive, but let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's power this thing on. I can already tell I want to redo the colors, but let's hop into the BIOS. We'll turn our XMP on. Oh. Make sure we are booting from the right drive because we do have two hard drives, or well, one SSD and a hard drive in there. There we go. So let's get lighting app, 3D mark, and GPU tuner. Fix some lighting first. Let's see. We just make everything red. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to push zero. There we go. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Let's grab this or open this up. Let's overclock these to about 2050. And I'm going to get 3D Mark running. If we blue screen or get a result as usual, I will come right back. All right, there you've got it. 17,246. Forgot to show it, but this thing was showing it was worth about $1,400 before we ran 3D Mark and did the overclocking. Now it's showing it's worth about four grand. So that's a nice improvement. Let's get this case put back together. We can get this thing put in the closet. I think it turned out pretty nice. If you like red and black, that is. All right. Whoops. Did I just kill this thing? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, good. Let's grab our PC Bay post-it note to get this thing put in the closet. We'll check PC Bay and make sure everything got listed. So, there they are. We will keep an eye on them as we continue to play this game over the next few recording sessions. We will see what they end up selling for. I'm going to end the episode here, though. So, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know as soon as the video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you guys in the next episode.